This is the story of how the people of Koguryo comforted their dead 1,500 years ago. Inside the tombs, they painted the four guardian gods who were believed to protect the order of the universe. They were Hyunmu, the black tortoise, the protector of the north and the harmony of yin and yang. Cheongnyong, or the azure dragon, the guardian of the east. Peko, the white tiger, who watches over the west and repels bad energy. And Chuja, the vermilion bird, who protects the south and carries a Sintamani stone in its mouth. Inside the Koguryo tombs are paintings of the four guardian gods, protecting the tomb and leading the dead to the afterlife. Before BC, the soldiers of Koguryo had no rivals in East Asia. Their feats can be seen in the graves of Koguryo people, found in Pyongyang. The Koguryo Kingdom conquered the Asian continent and designated the Chinese city of Jian as its capital. Over 20,000 Koguryo tombs have been found in Pyongyang and Jian combined. Buried here are the stories and achievements of the Golden Age, but a closer look reveals an even more remarkable world. In the 5th century, when Koguryo was going through a cultural revival, the people of Koguryo painted murals of the four guardian gods that are based on the five elements theory. The guardian of the east, Cheongnyong, repels bad spirits with its blue energy. The roaring divine tiger is Peko, the god of the west. It emits an energy that can fight off any evil spirits. The two gods are facing each other, with a door to the tomb between them. This represents the harmony of yin and yang. Chujak, the god of the south, possesses a red energy. And here's a tortoise and a snake, representing the female and the male sexes, respectively. The two are facing each other, with flames bursting from their mouths. This is Hyunmu, the god of the north. Uh, the Koguryo people believed that the afterlife was an extension of this world and painted the four guardian gods in the tombs. These gods not only represented the four cardinal points of the east, west, south, and north, but also acted as guardians who guided the dead to the afterlife. And the place that they led the dead to was heaven.
I think my time has come. What are you talking about? You're still a vigorous man. Are you afraid of dying? Afraid? No. Death isn't the end. We'll meet again as immortals in the afterlife and be friends again. <laughs> <laughs> then I'll see you there. The people of Koguryo believed that they were offsprings of heaven and regarded the immortals as their ancestors. They believed that they too would become immortals after death. The imaginary world that extended beyond life became more detailed over the years and manifested itself in the guardian gods that led the dead to the afterlife. This was a world born from belief. Uh, of the painter is evident here. The curves that resemble the flowing water add animation to the painting. And the light and shade created by the vivid colors brings the painting to life. Still alive after all these years in the tombs of the dead is the artistic spirit of Koguryo. The reason Koguryo's two murals have been placed under the global spotlight is that their colors still remain vivid after 1500 years. A stone tomb mural surviving 1500 years is seldom heard of. This is because normally the temperature difference between the inside and outside of the tomb creates dewdrops on the walls, causing the paint to run. The key to perfect preservation lies in the scientific method of painting. When paint made of natural minerals is applied to lime and meets carbon dioxide, water is released into the air. What's left behind is a painting in the form of calcium carbonate. The idea of afterlife and heaven matured into a scientific theory for explaining the order of the universe. The 136 stars painted in gold shine brightly. Koguryo's advanced astronomical observation became the link between the world and afterlife. Koguryo's advanced astronomical observation became the link between the world and afterlife. 
어, 표현의 그 대상으로 등장을 하게 됩니다. 이 사신이라는 것은 그 하늘을 어, 네 방향으로 나누어서 어, 그곳에 존재하는 별자리들을 일곱 개씩을 묶어서 하나의 그 우주신으로서 형상을 만든 결과이기도 한데 그것이 동쪽의 일곱 개의 별자리를 청룡으로 서쪽, 남쪽, 북쪽을 각각 백호, 주작, 현무로 해서 어, 그, 내 방위신, 내 방향의 방위신이 예, 자신들이 사는 세계를 보호한다. 어, 그런 개념을 가지고 어, 형상화 시켜서 벽화에 나타낸 경우를 말합니다. The tomb mural of the four guardian gods embodies their earnest prayer for the guardian gods to lead the souls of the dead to heaven.